writing prompt. My name is Lisa M. Cowan, and today, as we do every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, we're going to do a short writing prompt of about five minutes. Well, actually, exactly five minutes, um, because I'm going to time us. And if you have a notebook and a favorite pen, or I mean, any old pen will do. Um, but um, I find uh, I find uh, writing by hand as opposed to writing on the computer does change what I write. So um, if you're really uh, you know set on writing um, on the computer uh, using your keyboard, then uh, then that's then you just go ahead and do that. But I, I do I invite you to try out writing with a pen and using a notebook and see maybe what different things might come up. So uh, today, as um, I usually do, uh, we're gonna start off just with a very, very short grounding exercise just to get us, just to get us arriving where we are. Um, you know, maybe this morning you were rushing around. Um, you know, it's the weekend. Uh, hopefully you have the day off um, and you can relax a little bit or at least get some, um, get some uh, chores done around the house. Uh, so let's just close our eyes if it's comfortable for you to do so. Just for a few moments, we're going to take a nice deep inhale and exhale. And just feel a little bit, if you can, what's going on in your body as you arrive in this space. And perhaps you can feel your sits bones, maybe you're sitting on the floor or you're sitting on a cushion or on a chair or maybe you're standing as I often do when I work. Just feeling what's going on in your body and any tension, just notice if there's any tension or any pain or discomfort or any pleasant sensations. And let's just take a nice breath here. Inhale and exhale. Good. And inhale and exhale. Now we're going to open our eyes and start the writing prompt. So today's writing prompt is related to the fall equinox, which happened on September 22nd. And I learned a couple of things about the fall equinox. Um, I think I might have known this and forgotten, but um, so the fall equinox is significant because it's when the sun is directly above the equator and day and night are of equal length. So both of the Earth's hemispheres are equal. Um, because they're receiving the sun's rays equally. So that's a, kind of an interesting bit of information. Uh, so the writing prompt today happens at the fall equinox. Um, so it's the fall equinox and a windstorm blows into town. The leaves shiver on the trees and the streets are littered with small branches. Write a scene about a horse that shows up shortly after the storm. You've never seen this horse before, have no idea where it came from or who it belongs to. So I'll just repeat that once more. It's the fall equinox and, the wind, and a windstorm blows into town. The leaves shiver on the branches of the trees and the streets are littered with small branches. Write a scene about a horse that shows up shortly after the storm. You've never seen this horse before, have no idea where it comes from or who it belongs to. Okay, so we're gonna start our story. We have five minutes and I'm going to time us and I'll let you know when a few minutes, when you only have a couple minutes left and then 30 seconds, etc. So let's get started. Enjoy. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, there's two and a half minutes left. Okay, there's just about 20 seconds left, so you can start wrapping up. Okay, that's time. Gee, that went by really fast. <laughs>
sometimes when we do these stories, there's, um, yeah, you feel like there, I mean, sometimes the story does feel like it's finished for me. And then other times I think, oh, I'd like to just keep writing. So, uh, so please, when you do these stories, if you, if you do have more time than five minutes, please, uh, keep, keep writing and just, you know, see where the story goes because five minutes is not a lot of time, but it does, I think it is enough for us to, you know, do the free writing exercise and to see the benefit from it for sure. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning on a Saturday morning, or if you're catching the, uh, the recording, thank you for uh, taking the time to, to write and to connect to your creativity. And um, I, if you want to come and find me, you can find me on Facebook at Lisa M. Cowan. That's Lisa with two S's, C-O-W-A-N. Um, you can also find me on Instagram or Twitter, the same handle, L-I-S-S-A-M-C-O-W-A-N. And I, um, I coach uh, creativity. Um, I do creativity coaching, and I also help people find the stories that are inside them and write their stories. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you again next Saturday. Bye-bye.